Christmas came early here to the surf station, and we have red and green lost V2 stubs. These are small wave machines made off of the, uh, the rocket, but a lot less tail rocker, very flat and wider, with a wider nose and tail outline overall, but still with a similar rocket shape, just kind of flattened out, but still with a mild kick of tail rocker. And with the five fin set up, very useful for Florida waves. Switch it up from a quad to a thruster, depending on the surf. Pretty good single concave all the way through under your front foot. And single all the way through the fins, actually. So it's going to be a really loose, responsive board. Single concaves have a very good release, release point and pivot point for small waves for when you get them up in the lip and in uh, a lot of speed and, and looseness through flat sections as well, especially if you ride it in the quad set up on a flatter, mushier day. Get it level here. Very flat overall. Doesn't quite have the kick of, of, the, uh, of the original rocket. So that'll be better for Florida waves where you don't really, you're not really turning right in the pocket. You're more projecting down the line. And then it's just got a very slight flip in the nose, but overall very flat board. But because of its size, that you can ride it much smaller than you would a normal shortboard, it'll still turn tight in the pocket when you need it to. Very pivoty, especially with the thruster set up on maybe a little bit bowlier day. But uh, as you can see too with the foil, the, uh, the rails are nice and pretty low, not, not too boxy, but it definitely has a lot of hidden volume up through the middle all the way. So plenty of paddling volume, keep it going through the, through the flat and mushy stuff. But uh, overall, one of those boards you could ride 75 to 90 percent of the time here in Florida. So uh, stop on by and uh, check them out for yourself.